Hello everybody, my name is Annie Kaplan. Welcome to Pilates. I am gonna be teaching you a fundamental Pilates class. I understand some of you, this may be the first time that you're exposed to Pilates, but a lot of the exercises that we'll be doing today can be modified to any level. Um, a little background on me, I have been teaching Pilates for over 25 years. And I am also a certified health and wellness coach through Duke uh, University Integrative Medicine, and I am a registered nurse. Um, a little bit about Pilates, if you haven't done it before, it's a form of movement. Um, it's been around for a long time. Joseph Pilates was a nurse in World War I, and he um, rehabbed injured, injured soldiers. And then eventually he went on to teach Balanchine dancers in New York City. So it's a form of movement that's been around for quite some time, and it focuses on using your abdominal strength to support your spine and the rest of your body, um, where you lengthen and strengthen um, through different movements. And one of the main principles of Pilates is breath. So we um, are gonna start with breath, and all you need for the class today is a mat and some comfortable clothes and you're gonna be working barefoot. So I am gonna start on the mat behind me and um, we will get started, okay? Welcome. So I'm gonna start sitting on, if you have a, um, a towel or, um, or a cushion that you wanna sit on, in case your hip flexors are a little tight, I'm gonna sit up on, on this um, mat that I have folded over. And we're gonna start with our legs crossed and um, you can hold on to your knees. I'll face you so that maybe it's a little bit easier for you to see. And you're just gonna, just gonna take a couple of breaths here before we start. And just think about taking a nice deep breath in and out. And just try to relax and then think about the plumb line, think about having a line from the base of your spine coming up through the crown of the head. Just lengthening and thinking about having that support, almost as, as if there's a string attached to the ceiling that's supporting you. And then just take a couple of slow breaths in. Think about your um, your sit bones, which are your bony prominences. If I rock back and forth on this mat, I can feel those bony prominences underneath my, um, underneath my buttocks here. So you want equal weight on both of those hips. And then you're gonna take your hands and you're just gonna bring them on the outside of your rib cage. You're just gonna take a nice deep breath in. Think about opening up the intercostals, the space between the ribs. Nice deep breath in and exhale, release. And you can close your eyes or keep them open, whatever's most comfortable for you. You're gonna do that again. You're gonna take a nice deep breath in, almost like a fireplace bellows that opens out, like you're expanding that rib cage out. And then exhale, let the rib cage slide down. All while you're maintaining that plumb line, while you're maintaining that line through the crown of the head. So nice deep breath in. And exhale, release. One more nice deep breath in, almost like you want to push your hands off the sides of your ribs. And exhale, slide the rib cage down. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to bring my hands on top of my navel here. I'm going to take a nice deep breath in. And as I breathe in, I'm going to think about drawing my navel towards the back, like I'm hollowing out my belly a little bit. And then I'm gonna exhale, let that belly go. I'm gonna inhale, draw it in. And then exhale, I'm gonna let that navel, that section, that midsection release. One more, I'm gonna draw that in. And exhale, release. Now, now on this, I want on this breath, I want you to take a nice deep breath in, breathe in, draw the navel in towards your spine, and then on your exhale, try to keep that contraction, try to keep pulling away from your hands. And feel a little bit of that abdominal work there. 
You're gonna do one more like that. You're gonna breathe in, draw the belly in towards the spine, away from your hands. The needle comes away from your hands. And then on the exhale, you still feel that navel pulling away from your hands there. So you start to feel a little bit of abdominal work going on. Okay, so that just that's just a little bit about the breath. And we're going to work more on that, but also where that using your breath and still connecting in the belly at the same time. So now I'm going to come off of my, my folded up mat and just put that to the side. And I'm going to sit up here. My feet are on the mat. I'm going to hold on to the outside of my knees. I sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, I'm going to peel down one vertebrae at a time. And in Pilates, you're going to hear that kind of articulating the spine one vertebrae at a time. Keep holding onto your legs and go down nice and slow. Now, while you're here, you're going to think about alignment with your body here. So your feet are in front of your knees, knees in front of hips, okay? And then think about the weight on your feet. I want you to not try not to roll the legs out or roll the feet out or uh, squeeze the knees in. You just want to try to even out the weight on your feet. Okay, so just feel connected to the ground, feel connected to the floor, and the weight on your feet are even out. If you feel like you're starting to roll the foot out, come to that first metatarsal and put a little bit of weight on there to try and even out the weight on the foot. You may even feel when you do that, a little connection in the inner thigh. Now we're going to come to the pelvis here. And we're going to come to what we call in Pilates a neutral pelvis. So a neutral pelvis is when your hip bones and your pubic bone are on the same plane. So you kind of just maintain that normal curvature of the lower back. And you can put your, if you put your hands on your hips, and if they were two headlights, they'd be facing your hips or two headlights, they'd be facing directly up to the ceiling. So you're just going to take a nice deep breath in, in that neutral. And then on your exhale, without your legs shifting from side to side, you're going to roll that lower back down. And when that lower back comes down, that's what we call an imprinted spine. So you're going to inhale here. And then exhale, you're going to come back to your neutral. So we're gonna do a few of these. This is called pelvic tilt. So you're gonna inhale, bring that lower back down, and exhale, come forward. What I want you to think about, imagine that the abdominal muscles are actually moving that pelvis back and forth. So you're not jamming the lower back down, you're not jamming the tailbone down, you're just little pelvic tilts. Inhale and exhale, not holding your breath. Inhale and exhale. And then that same principle that we worked on when you were sitting, you can bring your hands on your belly and just think about drawing that belly in kind of towards the spine a little bit, not sucking it in, not like clenching, but just drawing it in and hollowing it out a little bit, pulling away from your hands, right? Right? So your hands are on your navel, you're pulling the belly away from your hands as you roll back into that imprinted. And then keep pulling the belly away as you come to your neutral. And you may feel a little more connection when you do that. You start to feel that belly working a little bit. Inhale, bring that lower back down. And exhale, come to your neutral. One more like that. Inhale, bring the lower back down. And exhale, come to your neutral. Now we're going to come back to our neutral pelvis and we're going to think of our belly our pelvis area actually as a clock. So your belly button is 12, your pubic bone is six, and your hip bones are three and nine. And we're gonna just go from, we're gonna rock from three to nine. You wanna keep your feet solidly planted on your mat, and you want your knees to still stay straight up. So the knees are going straight up to the ceiling, they're not shifting from side to side, but you're just gonna let your hips go from side to side. So imagine, that your hips are a bowl, right? And the water is coming up from edge to edge. So you're just shifting the water up from edge to edge and the hips are moving back and forth. 
And you want to eventually, you want to be able to feel almost like a little rubber band. So your transverse abdominis is working there. It almost feels like a rubber band that's bringing the hips from side to side, moving the hips. So it's a deep abdominal connection there from side to side. And at first, you may only feel just a little twinge, but that's okay. Just think about that and use that. Imagine that connection. That's what's moving the hips from side to side. So you're initiating the movements from the abdominal muscles. And then come back to your neutral. Now we're gonna go around the whole clock. So we're gonna start at 12 at the navel, and we're gonna imagine we're gonna hit, um, we're gonna hit each number on the clock. Okay, it's, it's, a little, it's not as easy as it sounds because we're gonna have certain areas that are tighter than the other, but it's almost like a spinning top. So you're gonna start to circle around. I'm gonna go clockwise first. We're gonna do four clockwise. And imagine that you can hit every number on that clock. Imagine that your tail is like a spinning top and you're moving around the spinning top. Take your time. So you're gonna do four. So I'm, I'm starting my third, circling around. Imagine the abdominal muscles are doing the work and bringing you around. One more, circle around and come back to your neutral. Now we're gonna go counterclockwise. Again, it's going to feel different depending on if you're right or left dominant. One side is definitely going to feel tighter than the other. And you work in whatever range works for you. You may want to do a smaller circle if you're really tight. So just don't force it. Just work in whatever range works for you. This should feel good. It shouldn't be painful. Now circle around one more counterclockwise and come back to your neutral. Okay, we're going to come back to the breath again. Really important principle applies because we don't want you to hold your breath while you're working. I want you to bring your hands on your rib cage and just feel when you're supine how this feels. So you're going to take a nice deep breath in, breathe into the hands. So almost like you're pushing your hands off again on the outside of the ribs, and then exhale, let that rib cage slide down. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, release. Okay, now we're gonna come to the shoulder girdle. So I'm gonna have you bring your arms up. So you're gonna reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. So when you do that, I want you to think about having equal weight on both shoulder blades. So you may feel one side is tighter than the other. So even, I don't want you to try not to jam a shoulder down or force it. But just imagine that the weight is heavy on both shoulders. So from here, we're going to do what we call puppet arms. You're going to reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling and exhale, bring them back to your neutral shoulder with the equal weight. Inhale, you're going to bring the fingertips up towards the ceiling and exhale down. Inhale, reach the fingertips up and exhale down. One more. Inhale, reach the fingertips up, and exhale down. Now from here, we're going to do windmill arms. So we're going to bring one arm over. I'm going to bring my right arm over. As my right arm comes over, I'm going to think about keeping that weight on that shoulder blade. I'm going to try not to let that rib cage pop up, because the arm that's over, that rib cage is going to want to pop up. So I want to try to relax that rib cage down. Now my left arm is gonna reach down. I'm still gonna hover above the mat, but it's gonna reach towards my left heel. So I have that oppositional stretch here. So you're gonna inhale here, and exhale, come back. Again, now I'm gonna bring my right arm down towards my right heel. I'm gonna bring that left arm over. I'm gonna try to keep that left shoulder down. That rear cage is gonna try not to pop up. I know it's hard when you're, when you're feeling really tight there. That, rib, that bottom rib's gonna wanna pop up. So try to keep that rib cage down. And inhale, come back. Now we're gonna switch the breath up a little bit. So you're gonna exhale as you reach over. Both arms are moving. So the right arm's reaching over, left arm is reaching towards the heel. And inhale, come back. And exhale, reach. And inhale, both come back above the shoulders. One more each side. Exhale, reach. 
and inhale, come back. Last one. Exhale, reach and don't force it. You only go as far over as you can if your shoulders are tight. And inhale, come back. And relax your hands back at your side. So from here, you're just gonna think about um, having a pencil point. So now we're gonna go up to the, um, to the cervical spine here. So I'm, I want you to imagine um, you have a pencil point on your nose, okay? Hands are relaxed, feet are still connected to the ground, and you're just gonna draw a line straight up and down with your nose, with that pencil point, like a lowercase l. So you're gonna draw that line up and down, and then you're gonna come to a stop, and now you're gonna cross that line like a lowercase t. And you're gonna keep, keep moving, going from side to side, and if, you, if, it, if it doesn't hurt your neck, you can rotate all the way to the right and all the way to the left so that your ear touches the mat. Just moving from side to side, getting a little stretch in the neck, back and forth. And now you're gonna to rotate to the right, you're gonna look down at that right shoulder, and then you're gonna come back, come back to center, rotate to the left, look down at that left shoulder, come back to center, inhale one more to the right, look down, come back up, and back to center, and then rotate to the left, look down at that left shoulder, then come back, and back to center. And now I'm gonna take my hands behind the base of my stall. I'm gonna interlock my hands. I'm gonna inhale here. And then exhale, I'm gonna draw the elbows in. I'm gonna nod my head. And I'm gonna have just like a little lemon under my chin. That's the space I want. I'm gonna come up to bra line. I'm gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one and exhale, articulate that spine down nice and slow and controlled as if you're lengthening the spine as you go down. Inhale, open the arms, the elbows down towards the floor. As long as it's not painful, just don't force that stretch. Exhale, draw the elbows in so you see your elbows in your peripheral vision. That's as far as you want to come up. Now you're going to nod your head. You're going to curl up to bra line. Inhale here. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, peel back down, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, open the arms, draw the elbows down towards the floor. Exhale, draw the elbows up, nod the head, peel up to bra line, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, peel back down, one vertebrae at a time. I'm gonna do one more like that. Inhale, open the arms out towards the floor. Exhale, draw the elbows in, nod the head, come up to the base of the scapula. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, peel back down. We're gonna do something else and change it up a little bit. So keep the hands behind the head. Inhale here, you may feel a little bit of shaking as you come up, that's good, you're just activating the abdominal muscles. Exhale, draw the elbows in, nod the head, come up, and now we're gonna do a little circle. So you're gonna circle around to the right for one, two, three, four, five. Keep moving now, you're gonna reverse it. Try not to move the hips, keep the feet stable, the knees don't move, three, four, Five, and exhale, articulate down, one vertebrae at a time, and relax the arms at the side. Now from here, you're gonna, we're gonna do what we call knee folds. So we're gonna bring that right with, we're gonna think about connecting that belly, okay? So again, if you put your hands on your belly, think about drawing away from your hands, the navel's drawing away from your hands, right? You're not pouching the belly out, you're drawing in away from the hands. You're gonna lift that right knee up to tabletop, trying not to shift the weight. It's gonna have to shift a little bit, but you're not gonna, you don't want you want to still stay square at the hips. That pelvis is still square. And so now I'm at 90 degree at the hip and 90 at the knee. And we're gonna just tap that right foot down for six. So one, 
and keep that belly connected to you. Try to let that lower back rest down. You don't want to arch the back here. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to bring that right foot down. Keep that foot planted. Again, my belly's connected. I'm going to lift that left leg up to tabletop. Try not to shift the weight. I'm just going to tap the toe so the angle of the leg stays the same at 90 degrees. And you're just tapping for three. That right leg doesn't fall out. That right foot is grounded. Five, six, and draw that leg down. Now I'm going to bring that right leg back up again. And I'm going to bring the left leg to join it. So you want to make sure you draw that belly in. That lower back is resting on the mat. Okay, you're not arching the back. If you feel like this is too much, you can hug the knees in and take a break. And then you come back to your tabletop. Now we're gonna tap, we're gonna alternate legs. If this is a lot for you, if you feel like it's too much for the belly, just hold it. Just hold it here for a count of five, okay? So we're gonna tap one, two, we're gonna do six, I'm sorry. Three, four, five, six. Bring both legs up and hug your knees in and get a little bit of a stretch there in that lower back. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, come back up to tabletop. And your legs are just stacked next to each other. They're not bolted, okay? You're gonna bring the right leg down and then the left. Now, we can modify a lot of these different exercises. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can add more reps. But for today, I'm just gonna introduce a few different exercises and you can work from there. So for here, we're gonna do some knee pulls. So we're gonna, I mean, we just did knee pulls, so we're gonna do knee sways. So you're gonna rotate to the right with the legs. So both legs, they're not bolted together, they're just stacked. So my legs are gonna shift to the right. Okay, and that left hip can lift. I'm gonna imagine my, my obliques and my abdominal muscles are gonna draw the legs back to center. So what you don't want to happen is you don't want your rib cage to shift. So your rib cage stays where it is, but the, the hips can shift with the knee. So now I'm gonna shift my legs to the left. I'm gonna let them shift, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna hold it there for a count of one, two, three, and exhale, draw the abdominal muscles and bring them back to center. I'm gonna inhale here. Exhale, I'm gonna let the legs shift to the right. I'm gonna hold it there for one, two, three. And exhale, come back to center. Inhale, center. Exhale, let the legs shift to the left. Remember the rib cage doesn't shift, just the hips. Hold it there for one, two, three, and wrap that belly mat around. Imagine those obliques are drawing the legs back to center. Inhale, exhale, let the legs shift to the right. Hold it there, one, two, three, and exhale, come back to center. Okay, good job. From here, we're gonna go on to bridge. So my hands are at, the side, at my side. My feet are grounded into the mat. Now we did a little bit of pelvic tilt, but now we're gonna go up to a full bridge. So you're gonna inhale, exhale. Before we rolled our hips back, and now you're gonna keep rolling and you're gonna peel up one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna come up to your shoulders here. So you're one long line. So what you want not to, you don't wanna pop that rib cage up, okay? You want a nice straight line from the knee to the shoulder. Your fingertips are reaching towards your heels. If you feel like you're cramping in your uh, hamstrings, just push into your heels. See how I got my feet lifted a little bit? So push into the heels so you get that connection right at the gluteal fold. So you're gonna inhale here. Exhale, you're gonna soften the collarbone. You're gonna soften the breastbone, that mid-back, and you're gonna come down one vertebrae at a time. Think about lengthening that lower back and the tail is the last thing to come down and you're back to your neutral. So your neutral again is when your hip bones, pubic bone are on the same plane and you have a little bit of a space in that lower back. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, 
Exhale, start to roll the hips back and peel up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale while you're up there. Think about lengthening through the back of the neck, push into the heels so you get that connection right at that gluteal fold. Bring your tips are reaching towards your heel. Exhale, you're gonna soften the collarbone. Think about softening the breastbone, that mid back, that lumbar spine starts to come down. All the way down, tail is the last thing, and back to your neutral. Inhale here. Exhale, start to roll the hips back. Peel up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale here. Exhale, soften the collarbone, soften the breastbone, one vertebrae at a time. Think of your, your, um, your spine as a string of pearls, and each pearl is coming down one at a time, all the way down to your neutral. We're gonna do one more. Inhale, exhale, start to roll the hips back, peel up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale here, think about lengthening still through the crown so you're not cinched in the neck here. And exhale, soften the collarbone, soften the breastbone, peel down one, vertebrae at a time, and come back to your neutral. Okay, from here, we're going to do um, an exercise called roll-ups. So I'm going to have you keep your knees bent. We're going to do a little bit of a modification here. You're going to hold on to the outside of the leg. You're going to inhale, and then exhale. You're going to nod the head, and you're going to walk up. You can even push the legs away a little bit, and you're going to walk up. With, you can hold on to your legs and you're going to curl up and sit up nice and tall. Inhale there. Now you can do this exercise with a straight leg, sitting up nice and tall. And again, remember if your hip flexors are tight, if this feels tight, you can sit up on a, on a towel or a blanket. Reach your arms out in front. You're going to inhale here and then exhale. You're going to peel down one vertebrae at a time all the way down, reach your arms overhead, try not to let that rib cage pop up, exhale, start to come forward with the arms, nod the head, round up, reach for the toes, inhale here, and exhale, stack up one vertebrae at a time. Again, if you prefer to do it, a modification is doing it with the knees bent, so you hold on to the outside of the leg, and you peel down one vertebrae at a time. Sometimes if you feel like this is um, a little, if it irritates your tailbone, you can always keep a little pillow underneath the lower back. The other thing you can do, if you feel like it's too hard, and you're kind of throwing yourself, almost like you feel like you have to throw your weight forward, you could roll a towel, just a hand towel, and put it underneath the, um, your lower back. And that's just a really helpful tool to do these roll-ups. So you're gonna inhale, reach your arms overhead again. Exhale, start to come forward with the arms. Nod the head, round up, reach for the toes, and stack up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale here, exhale, peel down nice and slow and controlled. Take your time, you go down for a count of five. Think about articulating each vertebrae. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach over. Exhale, start to come forward with the arms. Once your arms are past your shoulders, then you start to nod your head. Again, a modification is holding on to your legs and peeling up. You don't have to do it with a straight leg. If your hamstrings are tight, you're going to feel this. The other thing you can do is put your foot in. You can put your feet up against a wall, and that will help you as well. Inhale here. And exhale, stack up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna do one more. Sit up nice and tall. Think about that plumb line again, lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, peel down one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow and controlled. All the way down. Inhale, reach your arms over. Exhale, start to come forward with the arms, nod the head, round up, reach for the toes. Inhale here, and don't force it. You only go as far as you feel comfortable. Get that stretch, and stack up one 
vertebrae at a time. From here, you're gonna have you bend your knees and kind of how we started initially when we went down to that roll down. We're gonna do some roll downs, just half roll downs from sitting. So you're gonna hold on to the outside of your knees, you can hold on underneath the knee, whatever's comfortable for you. You're gonna inhale here, and then exhale, you're gonna roll down just to the small of the back. You're gonna hold it here, so you kind of hollow out that belly. You're not gonna jam the chin, your shoulders are relaxed. And then exhale, you're gonna come forward, almost like you're rolling over a beach ball. So you're leading with the crown of the head, you're gonna round over, and then stack up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale here, exhale, roll back. Hold it here, so once your arms are extended, that's where you stop. Inhale here, exhale, start to come forward. The hips are still, still roll back, but you're gonna come forward, lead with the crown of the head like you're rounding over a big beach ball. And then stack up one vertebrae at a time. Two more like that. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Inhale there, once your arms are straight, hold it there. Exhale, start to come forward, start to bend the arms, round over that beach ball. Keep breathing, keep drawing that belly in, hollowing out that belly, and stack up one vertebrae at a time. Last one. Inhale here, exhale, roll back until your arms are extended. Inhale there, exhale, start to come forward with the arms. Round over, so you drop, you bend in your arms. Round over that beach ball, and then stack up one vertebrae at a time. Good job. Okay, from here, we're gonna come onto our bellies. We're gonna work, we do a little bit of a modified swan. So I'm gonna roll onto my stomach. I'm gonna open my legs as wide as my mat. So move this to the side. So my legs are open as wide as my mat, my heels are turned in, and my pelvis is imprinted into the mat. And you work in whatever range is comfortable for you. We're just gonna do a little bit of extension here. So your forehead is down. If you wanna um, have a towel underneath your forehead, it's a little more comfortable for you, you can do that. You're gonna inhale, and then exhale, you're just gonna start to lift that chest up, so just the breastbone. You're still looking down at the mat. Your pelvis is imprinted. You should have no pain in that lower back. You may feel a little bit of connection in that glute, in the lower glutes. You're gonna inhale here, still looking down at the mat, so you're not hyperextending in the neck, in that cervical spine. You're looking down at your mat, and then exhale, peel back in. Inhale here. Exhale, start to come up, and that breastbone just starts to peel off, and you kind of hover there. That belly is drawn in, the pelvis is imprinted. If you feel like you can come up a little higher, you can do that, work in your range. But we're just doing a modified swan just to introduce you to swan today. And exhale, come back. Inhale. Exhale, think about imprinting that pelvis before you start to lift that breastbone off. Your hands are just above your shoulders here. Inhale here. And exhale, peel down from the front of the body and your forehead comes down. One more, inhale. Exhale, imprint the pelvis, start to lift that breastbone off. The head just follows, it's just part of the spine. You don't need to, you're still looking down at the mat. Inhale here. And exhale, peel back down. Now we're gonna sit back into child's pose, just to stretch out that lower back. You're gonna inhale here. Think about letting that tail be heavy. You're gonna walk your arms out to the right, so you open up that left side, open up that left rib cage. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, start to walk the arms over to the left. And your hips shift to the right a little bit. You open up that right side of the rib cage. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, come back to center. From here, we're gonna come in the quadruped position. So on all fours, my knees 
are underneath my hips and my hands are right under my shoulders. Now my wrists sometimes bother me, so I'm gonna come up on my fists. If, if you have no problem with your wrists, you can just come down on a flat hand, but I like to come up on my fists. And we're just gonna do an exercise, an exercise called cat, okay? So um, we're gonna inhale, we're gonna round up. As we inhale, we're gonna push the, think about pushing the floor away with your hands, and you're rounding up towards the ceiling. So imagine that there's a string from the crown of the head to the tail, lengthening that whole spine. Take a nice deep breath in here, and then exhale, start to come into an extension. Think about reaching that breastbone forward, that tail is gonna come back. And imagine when you're doing this that you're pulling your hands down towards your knees. So you get that connection under the armpits and that whole abdominal wall is working there. Inhale, round up. Push the floor away. Think about that tail dropping down, the crown of the head. And exhale, come into your extension. Think about drawing the hands down towards your knees. Get that connection under the armpits. Inhale, round up. You're pushing the floor away again. Round, round, round. Really high. Exhale, come into your extension, engaging under the armpits, drawing the hands down towards your knees. Last one, you're gonna inhale, round up, pushing the floor away. And exhale, come into your extension, reaching that breastbone again. Here, be careful you don't hyperextend in the neck. You're just following the spine, opening that chest, reaching that breastbone forward. And then exhale, sit back down. And we're going to finish off with a standing roll up. So you're going to come into a kind of a frog position. My hands are in front of my knees here. I'm going to bring my toes down. My heels are lifted. I'm going to inhale here. And then exhale, I'm going to straighten my legs. I'm going to round over and get that stretch. And then even while your hands are, if your hands can touch, that's fine here. Just let your head go. Just rotate the head from side to side. Think about drawing the belly in the whole time. Then moving the head around. And now you're going to start to peel up so that your, your hands are just hovering above the floor. And just let your arms just circle around like pendulums. Your belly is drawn in. You have equal weight on your feet. And then you're going to reverse that circle. And slowly come to a stop. You're going to inhale here. And then exhale, you're going to peel up one vertebrae at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. All the way up to standing. And while you're standing here, you just kind of how we started on the mat, we're going to finish off with standing. So just your feet are on the floor. Think about equal weight on, on your foot. So if you feel like you're shifting outside of the foot, try to just even out that weight. You can close your eyes. Just feel that equal weight on the floor, that you're just kind of pushing the floor away. And think about your knees are just straight line in, in line with the, the center of your foot. And you're going to come up to the pelvis. And think about your tail being heavy. You can even put a hand at the base of your spine and a hand at, just in front of the belly, right at the navel. And think about drawing that tail down a little bit. Just make it heavy, you know, tucking under, but just a, a heavy tail. And you can almost feel the abdominal muscles kick in a little bit. You feel a little bit of movement there when you do that. Relax your arms back at your side. Take a nice deep breath in. Think about opening up that rib cage. And you roll that uh, collarbone back, open up that breastbone, and then think about a string lifting you. Imagine I have a string at the top of your head, and I'm lifting you up. You're nice and long, that plumb line, all the way through the center of the spine, through the crown of the head. And take one more deep breath in there. 
and exhale, relax. And thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. And I hope you, um, I hope you enjoy Pilates and that you uh, continue to practice. Take care. Bye-bye.